regarding how to fatten up her goldfish. She said she had two uh, local uh, fish store goldfish that were fairly skinny and she's trying to get them to gain weight and overall be more healthy. So um, Sherry Table, um, probably butchered that, I'm not that good with names, but Sherry, this is for you. So. Um, the thing about when you look at it like on Instagram and uh, on um, breeders' websites, you will likely see some pretty big goldfish and they look super chubby and fat and cute and you want your fish to look like that too. And when you get them, especially from a local fish store, they're not always going to be like that. And especially if you have babies, you know, that's kind of a grooming process, and if you're not familiar with that word, um, goldfish grooming is um, pretty much raising the goldfish to their full potential. The first thing that um, you need to realize is sometimes, uh, you know, the larger goldfish are bred to be large, so it's kind of in their genes. Um, if you have a goldfish that is small, it could be stunted. Um, I have a small Ryukin baby right now, um, Lucy. She is smaller than she should be, but um, I think that she was just stunted uh, uh, when she was very young before I got her. So there's really nothing I can do about that other than give her the best care that I can and hope that maybe she'll grow out to be absolutely gorgeous which she is already but you know everybody wants big fat goldfish <laughs> so genetically there is um you know that plays a role in uh the goldfish weight and so on but another thing that you need to look for is what you feed them and a lot of people think that they can feed their goldfish uh flakes once a day and they will grow out to be big beautiful gorgeous uh, goldfish and that is very wrong. <laughs> I do not recommend flakes. Flakes have no nutritional value whatsoever for any fish. Um, don't like them. So please don't feed them that. Um, they also tend to make goldfish floaty because they're just they're just eating air. I mean in reality that's what they're eating because there's nothing there. One thing that I feed my fish a lot is Rapashi Soylent Green, and I've talked about this in earlier videos. Um, Rapashi is a gel food that you make uh, at home. You order the powder, and then you mix it with boiling water, and it sets up into gel. This is really good um, for gold, especially um, fancy goldfish digestive systems. Um, they, you know... It, being that it is wet or um, a moist food, it moves through their digestive system very easily and they are less likely to become constipated, uh, which is a, a fairly big issue with fancies. Uh, Rapashi has a minimum of 40% crude protein. That's pretty good. Um, that's why I like feeding it. I noticed um, in my first Aranda, um, Knight, he is the biggest goldfish I have currently. Um, when I started feeding Rapashi, he gained a lot of weight really fast. And um, he just really liked the food. They're like little vacuums when it comes to this stuff. I mean, they love it. And it's not super hard to make. Um, you know, some people will say that they don't like the smell. Um, it doesn't smell the best, but, you know, you can get over that. <laughs> um, I hated it when I first made it. The smell was, you know, pretty bad, but I got used to it and that's really not that bad anymore. Um, so that's, it has 40%. That's good. Um, something else that people tend to feed a lot is New Life Spectrum. And 
some people like totally love this stuff. And I know that um, Sherry, you said that you fed this to your fish. It's funny because uh, it only has 36% protein and that's not, that's not a lot. I'm not surprised um, that you haven't saw a big uh, growth spurt in your fish. Um, it's okay to mix things up every now and then. Um, feeding your fish a variety of food is the best thing to do for them. Um, they will start growing uh, fairly quickly if you give them different things. They don't get burnt out on something and, you know, they, they eat a variety of things. You can also feed them, you know, along with this, you can feed them uh, green leafy vegetables, which you probably have in your fridge. So, like, um, lettuce or kale, um, they love nibbling on that stuff. Uh, green peas, shelled, of course, they'll eat that. I do have a couple of fish that don't like peas. That, uh, that was new. Um, I have never heard of some, of a goldfish not eating peas. Um, that's fairly common. They, they usually like it, but I have one that does not like it. So, <laughs> I have one picky eater, but they generally will eat that kind of thing. Another thing that you should look into is Jappy's fish food. Um, their everyday balance is, uh, also has, um, a minimum protein level of 40% which is the same as Rapashi, um, except it's not gel food. It is a pellet and you don't have to make it or anything. It comes, you know, in the bottle. And um, that may be something that you would rather do than mix gel food all the time. So um, that's one thing that you can do. Another one that I like is uh, Jappy's Fish Food, um, the growth recipe. It has a crude protein level of 46%. It is the highest protein level of any food that I have talked about so far. Um, I actually just got this in the mail today. I am so excited about this stuff. You have no idea. <laughs> um, I will start feeding that to my babies tonight. And I will have a video on that this week about how they liked it. And I will show you their first feedings. And I will continue to feed that to them and track their growth and we'll see how well they grow with it. I'm really excited about that. So um, Sherry, if you want to purchase uh, the growth recipe or um, any of the things I've talked about, I will link that for you in the description. And I really recommend the growth recipe. I really think that it's gonna be awesome. I have heard a lot of fantastic reviews about it. Um, so I look forward to trying it myself, but, um, if you get it, we can try it together. I've talked about food. Uh, the second thing, um, especially people that, um, breed goldfish and, you know, on goldfish farms and, um, as well as people that, uh, you know, show goldfish, um, that the thing that they recommend is the water, clean, clean water. And I have heard of people changing goldfish water every single day. Um, I've also heard of every other day and um, like three or four times a week. That's a lot. And I have seen their fish get really, really big. So that's another thing you can do if you want them to grow bigger is to change their water more. Um, for me personally, I don't have any like humongous fish right now. Um, Knight is big. Um, he's probably about the size of two fists, I would say, but he's not huge. Um, he is the biggest, but he's not huge. Um, I just don't have time to do that. Um, you know, I'm a nursing student, I have a job, um, I take care of my elderly grandfather, um, and I have all these fish. I do not have time <laughs> to change it or whatever that much. But if you do, um, then you could get some pretty, pretty big goldfish. Uh, also mention that it also depends on how much you feed them. I feed my fish like twice a day. If you really want to see an improvement, you probably feed them three or four small feedings a day. That gives them um, frequent feedings and um, keeps the belly full longer. Even though goldfish, 
will generally eat all the time if you keep feeding them they're scavengers and that's what they do you also need to make sure that you have a big enough aquarium for them or a pond or whatever they're in um, generally fancy goldfish need 20 gallons uh, per fish you know that's 15 gallons is to me a bare minimum um, for a small fish I like the 20 gallon rule I don't always follow a 20 gallon rule. I have a 60 gallon aquarium with five goldfish in it. Granted, they are small and you know, when they start getting bigger, I will probably have to um, take some out and move them around a little bit. A 40 gallon breeder will comfortably house two goldfish. So um, the bigger the space for them, uh, the better they're gonna grow. So if you have, you know, maybe you just put one goldfish in the 40 gallon breeder and it will probably grow twice the size of it um, if it had just been in there with another fish, you know. So that's kind of your call on, you know, how many goldfish you want in there. Two is a max for a 40 gallon breeder. Um, if you're going to keep them in there their whole life, then, you know, just two is a good, a good number. But, um, if you want big goldfish, you need bigger aquariums. The number one thing for me is what you're feeding them. You really need to feed them a variety, um, of food, things like blood worms, um, brine shrimp, you know, as treats is always, you know, good. You really want to find things that's not super high in fat. Um, a fancy goldfish have trouble digesting the fat. It's really just not good for them, but um, they do need a little bit, so don't try to find a food that has no fat. <laughs> um, not telling you to do that, but um, so for Pashi and Jappy's everyday balance has the same protein level of 40%. Um, the growth recipe has 46%, so um, that is the top dog, in my opinion, if you're trying to grow out your fish. The lowest is New Life Spectrum, which I found shocking because I know of so many people that feed it. But maybe they didn't know. Or maybe they're not interested in growing out their fish. I don't know. But um, that is um, my advice to you. I hope it helped you. And uh, of course, if you have any more questions, then feel free to ask me. I love to hear from you guys, and I try my best to help you. So, um, I will be feeding this tonight. And, um, see how they like it, and I will start doing a vlog series on it. So, I'll see you next time.